Okay, so I'm going to show you how we can use Catalina's Integrator Toolkit to be able to save data to an Azure queue. But before we save the data to the Azure queue, we can actually uh, manipulate it and change the look and feel of that data before it sends through using our mapping scripts. So in the toolkit, I'm just going to create a new script and I'm just going to call this uh, Azure Bridge for you know, no lack of better terms. And what I'm going to do is um, I've got a known set of data that's going to come back from uh, some IoT devices. And so it's going to send me back this information that's going to tell me temperature, humidity, soil moisture, and a few other things. And so all I care about, the, the only thing I want in my uh, Azure queue is the temperature. And I'm just going to store that in a, 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 a JSON structure. Um, with one field in the object called value. So that way I can sit there and monitor it and I've got another tool that sits there and watches it and, and shows it on a, on a dashboard. So in this case, I'm not going to retrieve any additional uh, information. In, in our toolkit, we can go ahead and when you get data that comes into a script, we can then go ahead and, and call additional information like you know, do a lookup or something like that. I don't care about that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go and send the output of this to uh, an Azure queue. I could send it to REST, MQTT, or uh, an Azure queue. Um, and so whatever is coming out of this transformed object, it's going to then get pushed into this Azure queue. So once you've got an Azure queue, uh, you'll know what your uh, information is. You'll need to know what your shared access key is, and that'll come from your Azure portal. Uh, but a shared access key is really just nothing more than kind of a user. Um, there's different users with different levels of capability to be able to manipulate and view a uh, an Azure queue. But um, in this case, this um, shared access key has write permissions. Uh, or send permissions, so it can send data to the Azure queue. Uh, other permissions could be manage and uh, read. So I've got another thing that goes and sits there and reads this queue. So once I get data in, I can then go ahead and act on it. So I'm going to also put in my queue name. And once I've got that, I'm going to save it. And so now I've got a script that's going to take data from some outside source, like say my IoT devices, or it could be, uh, say, if we're doing some kind of order management thing, it could be uh, order from eBay or Amazon or whatever, they're going to push the data in through our script, and then we get it into a queue so that we can go ahead and deal with it um, on a more of a batch basis. And so now the next step is I'm just going to create a, a simple API. So, so a lot, I get this all the time where somebody will say, hey, I need an endpoint to call. Um, I've got data that I need to send it to you, and can you give me an endpoint? So we've got tools that allow you to create endpoints. Um, and so I'm just going to create um, IoT. I just call that IoT endpoint. And uh, you create a path. I'm just going to go ahead and call it Azure slash Q1. So that's going to be really the path. And you can organize your paths as, as deep as you want. Um, and got it. message queue. So it's pretty simple. And then I'm just going to go ahead and choose the script that I just created. I can take a look at that if I wanted to real quick to make sure I've got the one that I want. Um, it is. And so then I want to go ahead and then give it some permissions. And I'm just going to give it my general key. So now I've got um, out. So now something from the outside world can now call my uh, message queue without even knowing if the message queue exists. All they're doing is passing data. And I will then get my code. So this way, when somebody says, OK, well, how am I going to send the data? I go and say, OK, well, just use this code. And now I'm going to, first of all, look at here. I've got a dashboard that's going to be sitting there watching my uh, Azure message queue. And I'm going to bring up this and I'm just going to import my data and let me 
go ahead and simulate what, say, an IoT um, data set could look like. And so you can see here I've got temperature sensor value, humidity sensor value, soil moisture value. And if you remember, I am going to transform temperature sensor value into just the word value. And so let's see, I need to move this out just a little bit so I can send. I'm going to hit send and hopefully it'll go through. So right now it went ahead. That's right here is what you see the the value uh, went and took that this temperature sensor value and then transformed it into a value that looks like this. And if you see the data actually already came through and made it into the Azure message queue because the the Catalina tool did the mapping first and then dropped the data into the message queue. And now my my monitoring system just saw hey I, I see 75 uh, degrees just came in for uh, a value for temperature so that's really about it um, we can do this this can be expanded to do a lot of different types of things um, uh, but this is a very simple way for you to be able to get data into a an Azure service bus queue and then be able to transform it before you even go ahead and have to worry about it. So if you've got any questions about how to use Catalina's um, integration tools or how we integrate with Azure or Dynamics or any of the other types of systems we integrate with, feel free to contact us. Thanks a lot.